Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing a full face using Australian drugstore makeup under $15. Last time I did a full face of Priceline makeup under $20 and trying to get just Priceline specific makeup under $15 was a little bit hard. So I've expanded it to all Australian drugstore makeup. So I've got some BYS, some designer brand cosmetics, and even a little bit of Flower Beauty, which is available at Chemist Warehouse. If you're excited for this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I will have my Priceline under $20 video linked down below. For foundation, I will be using the BYS Full Coverage Foundation and I have the shade Ivory. This foundation retails for $11.95. It's a bloody bargain and it's really good. I do have a full review that I can link down below for you. BYS has come a really long way in recent years. I remember when they used to be at Cosmetics Plus. Well, I think they still are at Cosmetics Plus. But back in the day when I was a young teenager, they would have these massive sales and they'd put all the BYS makeup in these bins at the front of the store and they'd be like $2, $1, $0.50 and I would go rummaging through the bins for all the BYS makeup. Do you remember those lip glosses that were like clear with a rollerball and they had a flower in the middle? I'm pretty sure they were BYS. I feel like every foundation I've been using lately is really light on me. Seriously, guys, am I tan? <laughs> it can't be, it can't be. Next, I have the matching BYS Full Coverage Concealer, also in the shade Ivory. Now, the concealer isn't as fair as the foundation, which I kind of like because I really don't need any brightening up in here. This concealer actually gives pretty decent coverage and it only retails for like $7. I will actually have all the products listed in the description box below with their prices. So you can go and check that out in case I don't mention it. But for such an affordable concealer, it does a really good job. And I'm pretty picky with full coverage concealers. A lot of them say they're full and they're just not. You're not fooling me, okay? For powder, I'm going in with one of my all-time favorites. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte in the shade 001 Transparent. As you can see, mine's looking rather beat up because I use it all the time. With the smaller brush, I'm going to place a bit under my eyes and then I'll go in with a bigger, fluffier brush to lightly set the rest of my face. I have been using this powder for as long as I can remember, like ever since I got into makeup because it was one of the only powders at the drugstore that was fair enough for me. It does leave a matte finish, but it's not a heavy feeling powder and it keeps your makeup in place all damn day. I thought about going in and doing my eyes next, but just can't do it. Do you guys have a particular order that you do your makeup in? Because I always like to do my base, my brows, then my eyes. Whereas one of my girlfriends, she'll do like base, brows, eyes, her lips, she does everything, but leaves her highlighter till last because she thinks it's like the best part, which I can see where she's coming from. But anyway, I'm going to go in with the rest of my face. So I'm using the designer brand Get Glowing Bronzer, and this is in the shade Barcelona Bronze. If you have fair skin like me, this bronzer is an amazing shade. As you can see, it's very light and has more of a cool tone, but it gives enough warmth to bronze on a fair complexion. It is a matte formula, so it's not going to give you that glowing bronze look, but if you're after something for every day, I highly recommend this one. By the way, if you're wondering where my hair clips are from, they're from Kmart, I'll link them down below. For blush, I'm going in with this Emco Beauty Cheek and Lip Tint, and this is in the shade Tango. I'm just going to squeeze some onto my mixing palette here. Now this shade isn't a usual blush shade I would go for, but as you can see when I blend it out, it's a very, very sheer wash of color. 
so it's not too bold and overpowering. I'm going in with my new favorite liquid and cream blush brush. This is the Sigma F53 Air. It's a duo fiber brush. It's nice and lightweight, perfect for these creams and liquids. So I'm just going to lightly tap in there and then stipple onto the thighs. As you can see, it's just adding that light wash of color. Oh, love it. I'm pretty sure this does also come in two other shades. So you have a few options to choose from. I love that drugstore brands are coming out with more cream and liquid products because I've really been into them lately and it's so nice to have a more affordable option. For highlighter, I'm going in with the Flower Beauty Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. These are the three shades that come in the palette. This is my preferred shade. The pink is a bit too pink. It looks rather icy on the skin. And the gold is just a bit deep for my complexion. These are a really beautiful, soft formula. They're not chunky or glittery at all. Look at that sheen. <laughs> You're kidding me. This whole palette is only $10 as well. Oh, okay. I think I went a bit heavy handed there. That's better. Look at that natural glow. Oh, at least I know it can be built up into something very bold. I'm just going to tap over that with my sponge to take away some of the pigment because I'm not after a really bold highlighter look today. Moving on to the brows, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Brow Fast Sculpt Gel just to quickly brush these babies into place. I really enjoy this brow gel because first of all, it has a nice tiny wand so you can be nice and precise. And I feel like it grabs onto any of those blonde hairs, it tints them, and it also adds the volume to the brows that I am looking for. And then I'm going to be using the Astralis Incredi Brow Eyebrow Pomade. Now this is a newer one to my collection and I have been loving it. It's been a while since I've used a pomade and I think I just needed to go with the approach of less is more. So one end comes with a small brush and the other end has your pomade. Now what I like to do is just take a little bit, put it onto my palette or you can use the back of your hand just so that I've got a small amount on my brush and then go in and flick tiny strokes instead of like drawing the eyebrow. I'm going to flick. This is a bit of a time consuming way to do your brows. So if you're in a rush, I do not recommend, but if you've got the time, it looks really nice. And then I'm going to go in with the same concealer I used under my eyes to clean up my brows and get my lids ready for shadow. For eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Designer Brands ICU palettes. Now I do have six here to choose from. These palettes are bloody amazing. So they all come with four mattes and two shimmers, and we have a variety of color stories. If you've been around my channel for a while, you would know how picky I am with drugstore shadows. I feel like a lot of them are very dry and chalky, but these perform really well on the eyes. I've used them several times. I might go in with this one called Car Keen and use a mix of the warm brown and these shimmers because it kind of matches the warm tones on my top here. I just dipped into the Fired Up palette and used this matte shade here 
on a smaller blending brush to just blend out the edges of that brown and make it really soft. I'm also going to put that brown shade on the lower lash line. I'm then going to go in with this shimmer shade on my Sigma Shader Lid Brush. I love this one because it's very tiny and flat. It works really well with metallics. And I'm going to put that in the center. Alright, eyeshadow is done. So for mascara, I am going in with the Essence I Love Extreme Volume Mascara. Now this one is new to my collection. I've been testing it out. And first things first, this wand is humongous. So if you have small eyes, don't do it. I have quite big eyes and I still find this quite big and a little hard to use. And then for lips, I've got some of the BYS Luxe lipsticks here. I do have a few shades to choose from. Ooh, let me just swatch some on the back of my hand. How beautiful is this packaging too? It looks quite basic, but once you open it, beautiful gold packaging. I'll just let you know the shades in case you like any. This is Idolize. Lucky Star and Man Eater. And then we have Mama Sita, Bittersweet and Last Night. I'm just going to get a lip brush and fix up the edges. Okay, I really am digging that shade. Don't know if it 100% goes with the eyes, but <laughs> that's all right. So that was the shade Lucky Star. Before I go in with setting spray, I'm going to reassess the situation. I've been watching a lot of Ali Glines and she always does this, like just takes a good look at everything. Does she need to add more? Does she need to do less? I think I could actually go with a little bit more blush because I do like blushing cheeks. That's it. All right. So then for setting spray, I've got my favorite Rimmel Insta Fix and Go. I have been using this for years. It is such a good setting spray and it keeps your makeup in place all damn day. All right, guys. Well, this is the finished look using products under $15. If you enjoyed watching, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I absolutely love playing with drugstore makeup. And as you can see, there are so many good affordable products on the market. As I said, I will list everything I've used down below with the prices and any product that I use today that I do have an individual review on, I will also have that linked in the description box. Let me know down below as well if you think I should challenge myself and try and see if I can do under $10. I feel like it's getting hard then. <laughs> all right, well, I hope you are all having a fabulous day. If you did make it to the end of this video, leave a flower emoji down below. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Otherwise, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.